We got us a corpse and cartridge occasion. Today we have more statistics showcasing which characters are popular in this current version of Tekken 8. I want to give a big shout out to this person on Twitter because they're giving us all of this information and really helping us put it into perspective which characters are being played versus not played. We talked about the last one, the first week statistics, and that Reyna was absolutely dominating. And then followed up by Dragonoff and Sanchez and so on and so forth. This time around, we have a little bit more information. The tweet says, character popularity infographics for Tekken 8 three weeks after the official release. Included overall popularity as well as individual ones for PC and PS5. PC data is from Eliminator and above. PS5 is from Dominator and above. So starting at two slightly different points and going up. First, let's start off with the PC. Then we'll go PS5 and then we'll talk about both. But for PC, Dragonoff is dominating. He is number one. Reyna is number two. And then it's kind of very similar to the first one we've seen where you have Sanchez, King, and Jin. Azulzina, top five as well. Azazine is very interesting as well because if you guys heard what Ni nee and Arslan said about this character, she's basically one of the top five strongest characters in the game. Regardless of the pre nerfs that Harada gave her before release, this character is still really powerful, but then also is being played a lot. Dragonoff is very powerful, right? He's but the same cannot be said for Reyna. People are playing this. Now, yes, she definitely is strong. I think a lot of characters are strong. But people are playing Reyna really because they just like the fighting style. They just like the personality. And that's something that I want to highlight with Tekken 8 is how good the new characters are. In the past games, like Tekken 7, the new characters were so controversial and people like hated them. So to see the new ones, even though there's only three, to see them be beloved and so many people like them, I, that just makes me happy. Of course, at the tail end, you have Panda, Zafina, Leroy, Shahid. That's pretty much going to stay the same. And I don't think those characters will gain in popularity. Even though Sonic Fox is taking up the Zafina and is trying to prove this character's value in tournaments, who knows? If Sonic Fox does actually win something major with that character, it probably could help her character usage the same way Fang got a huge bump when Ni won Evo Japan. Looking at the PS5 data, this one's interesting because it's kind of different from PC. Here you can see Jin is the most played character followed up by King. It's literally kind of mirrored where fourth and fifth, King and Jin, but then for PS5, it's Reyna and Jin. King is so interesting, right? Because a lot of people feel that the character is, uh, he's different this time around, but regardless, he's always top four characters in the game. And just seeing that be true for PlayStation and even PC, even though his usage isn't that high, just seeing how popular this character is, it just shows what a staple he is. Now, I just had to thought, what about Armor King? Armor King was top four most popular character in the game for Tekken 7, even though he was DLC. If King is this high, just imagine when they add Armor King back in and what his usage is gonna look like. Now, when you combine PC and PS5, this is what you get. You get kind of a top five situation where it's all very flat, very stagnant. This is honestly kind of so strange to see because it looks unnatural. The four most played characters in the game being so equal, even Sanchez just being a little bit lower, really, he's the most consistent out of all of them because whether you look at PlayStation or PC, he's number three, right? So he's really consistent overall, but these other characters shift depending on the platform. And the platform is so interesting too because PC players, um, I don't want to say that they're more connected, but just the likelihood of them like watching content and understanding more about the balancing is so much higher and it's and the fact that they are more gravitating to dragon off says a lot I, I think that's so interesting playstation players gravitate towards the gen and then pc players gravitate towards the dragon off when you look at the tail end of the graph it shifts around a little bit like you have nina and who's that raven be a little bit lower in terms of pc playstation they're more up Where's Raven at? Raven is, okay, yeah, Raven's right next to Jack. Jack is an interesting case because Jack is arguably a very powerful character as well, right? I don't think people are putting him in the top five, but he's definitely up there. But even without all the power he possesses, there's still not that many people who's playing him. And I wonder, Dragonoff's gonna get nerfed eventually, right? So I wonder if Dragonoff is nerfed, will we see the rise in other characters? 
where's Jun Kazama? Jun Kazama is so low. Jun Kazama is so low. Like, in comparison to how much people was begging for the character, to see her end all the way here, I mean, the developers said it themselves. Like, in the beta, they were shocked at how low she is, right? Everyone was doing all of this yip yap about bring back June. Now, she is like pretty high. Was that like top 10 maybe? So she's not completely irrelevant, but it's like when you have a character who's that requested, you expect them to be like a little bit higher, like two or three positions higher. But I just want to take a look at this because it just gives us a natural progression of where Tekken 8 is heading. And once tournaments kicks in and people start seeing like which characters are really, really powerful, dominating tournaments, tournaments acts as advertisement for characters in a way. And that's going to have an effect on what we're seeing. And I think it's important to understand where we are now. So when the tournaments kick off, we know like which players is influencing which characters usage data.